Hello everyone, welcome back to the Global Underwater Explorers YouTube channel. My name is Nico Luro and I'm doing a follow-up to something Mr. Michael Menduno mentioned recently on the channel. A few weeks ago we did our usual in-depth teaser and he told me about these fourth element tech fins and he came with the statement that everyone is actually going to want a pair. Well, I've been lucky enough and blessed enough that fourth element have sent me a pair to try out. We are in the Red Sea today on the Egyptian side and over the course of the last few days, I've actually had the opportunity to test these tech fins out. But how do they handle? These fins, these tech fins from Fourth Element could potentially be the heir apparent or indeed the replacement to the community loved Scuba Pro jet fins. Now, take this with a disclaimer because personally speaking, I've always been under the belief that these shark fins from Real Dive in Sweden were actually superior to Scuba Pro anyway. You may remember, again, a link to this is above, but you may remember a few months ago I actually did a review for the shark fins, completely in love with them. So for me this review is not just about are they the heir apparent and the successor to the jet fin, are they for me personally even better than the shark fin? And that's what we're here to find out. So, just before I give you my honest feedback of what I think of these fins, obviously I'm on a boat full of tech divers, I wanted to give some of the instructors here a chance to actually try out these fins. My man here, Nevchan, has just come up from a dive with them. Hello. Hello. What did you think of them? Uh, actually, the fins are a little bit big for me. My mm -hmm. foot was moving inside, but generally I like the feeling of the fins. I didn't push them much, but the fin feeling was good. Felt good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Felt I like good. Them. I like that. <laughs> Very good. Few dives done. I think I've now had a chance to dive with them over the course of six dives. Condition wise, look, the conditions are very easy. I, I can't stand here and say I've had a chance to really push these fins to their limit in things like current or in things like high flow caves, like no. I've used these in very, very easy, nearly zero current crystal clear water conditions. So maybe not the best environment to really put the fins through their paces. However, the one thing I've noticed just from those few dives is that while moving forward, blissful to use. Some people noted on the boat that they don't like the color. Ah, you know on this channel I'm an advocate for color. But some people also said they look like they're too flimsy. Not the case. They move beautifully through the water. However, where I did encounter a problem, and I'm not sure if this is down to the material that um, Fourth Element have used. I'm not sure if this is down to the thickness. I am not a, an engineer. But what I did notice is that while finning backwards, I had real difficulty displacing the water. And that, for a lot of our community, I imagine, could be quite the turnoff. Um, I mean, context-wise, look, I'm not a GE instructor by any stretch of the imagination. My backwards kick is probably not as perfect as an instructor's. In fact, I know it's not as perfect as an instructor's. But I do know the motion from having done fundies. And honestly, I had real difficulty moving back through the water with those fins. Forward, lovely. Flutter kick, lovely. As someone who shoots underwater, they really gave me a very, very, they added um, to my chin. They helped me stay beautifully neutral in the water. I was able to maneuver around the subjects I was shooting. So control wise, I adore these fins. Better than the Scuba Pro Jet Fin? Probs not. But I'll tell you this, they are a lot lighter. 
and that in itself could be a reason for a lot of people to buy them because those jet fins are heavy but better than the jet fin I don't know in my opinion certainly not better than the um, the shark fin from real dive those are still the top 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 fins for me but look if you're looking for something colorful if you're looking for something that's a bit lighter if you're someone who shoots on an amateur level or even on a professional level underwater yeah they will give you a very very nice movement through the water as maybe an instructor if you're a GU instructor watching your channel someone who needs to back kick a lot in order to control your class properly mm, I'd be reluctant to say definitely go out and get these uh, but I, what I would say give them a try if you come across them I think you'll actually be pleasantly surprised quite how good they are but maybe not quite as good as the jet fin. Those are my thoughts. If you like this type of content, please do be sure to like the video, share the video with anyone who you think may be interested. And if you want to see another video where we're reviewing kit, hit the video right here, and that'll take you to one of our other videos. Otherwise, stay, stay, stay safe, stay creative, and we'll see you on the channel very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.